I love both of these people, but more than that, I love them together. There's just something about the way that they bring out the best in one another. I love hanging out with them. I love being their family, and I'm really excited to marry them. Chad and I met in eighth grade. I had just moved there from North Carolina, and he was in my eighth grade class. I was a pesky little eighth grade boy who was a little bit of a bully. Me and Mary Claire were uh, frenemies, I guess is what you call it, for a while. He's kind of shy, and he's really goofy, and he was just always hanging with the boys. Yeah, he's just super shy, so he didn't really talk a lot, but he was always really sweet. First impression of Mary Claire, skinny, blonde-headed girl, <laughs> fit right in. She was funny. Uh, she could brighten any room she walked into, still does. Chad has been like the best friend for me for a long time. Um, just always there for me and like just my constant companion even when we weren't dating. You know, I always wanted to be with Mary Claire, but she uh, didn't have the same feelings about me at first. Things got rough like a couple years into college and he was just like my go-to. Um, he started dating someone else and that's when I just really kind of solidified my feelings for him that this is the person I wanted to be with. Her friends told me that she liked me one spring break, and that's kind of where it all kicked off. Like, I knew before we even dated that this guy I could marry for sure. I told Kyle, my best man, that I wanted to marry Mary Claire, I think, freshman year of college, and we started dating junior year, so. <laughs> In the beginning, God created everything we see, and he called it good, except for one thing. When he created the man, he said, it's not good for the man to be alone. He needs someone who is compatible, someone who is complementary, who is different from him in the ways that make up for her weaknesses, in a way that she can make up for his, so that together they can be stronger than they would ever be alone. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Family and friends, for the first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chad Blickenstaff. It probably would not be a shock to some of you that I've been waiting for this day since the two of you were in eighth grade, which I feel like is a long time. But that made it so much easier when Chad asked each of us if he could marry Mary Claire. And I just knew my answer right away. I didn't have to think about it because I'd known since they were in eighth grade that I wanted Chad to marry Mary Claire. He's out of together when you're excited I'm excited when you're passionate about something I'm passionate about something when you're happy I'm happy and when you're hurting I feel like I'm hurting ten times more 
the one person in this world that I don't think I could live without. And I've loved getting to be a part of both of y'all's relationship from the days um, when Mary Claire didn't like Chad or Chad didn't like Mary Claire <laughs> to the days when they spent a whole entire summer inviting me every Tuesday to go get ice cream and lottery tickets before I moved away. Thank you, Chad, for always including me. You've always acted like a big brother and now it gets to be official. So let's spend this time together Because these are the best of our days Ooh, These are the best of all our days Ooh. Mary Claire, where do I start? You're pretty, witty, generous, char- I can't really read what you wrote here, Mary Claire. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we two have been through a lot together and made some pretty good memories, and I'm excited for the ones down the road. I'm happy that Chad has found you, who makes him the happiest I've ever seen him. I don't believe in the whole he or she completes me phrase because I f believe that our completeness is found in Christ, but I do believe that these two complement each other so well and that Chad is by far the best man for RMC. Chad is patient with her. He is kind to her and puts her before himself. And I know for a fact that I don't have to worry about her being cared for because I've seen it in action. Andover, Kansas, born and raised On the golf course is where he spent most of his days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool Hitting some tees into the paradigm pool When the Cunningham girls, who were looking real good Started running into the Andover hood He got one little glimpse, he got real scared And said, ooh, I'm digging Mary Claire Our future together is it's gonna be really fun. It'll be lots of love, lots of activities, hopefully two children. She wants three, but hopefully two. <laughs> I feel like our future is gonna be with friends and family for a long time, just surrounded by them. And kids, hopefully, lots of kids. He wants two, but I want like five, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, just I, I'm, I'm excited to grow old with her and, and always just have fun. I know we're going to be that old couple that's 65 years old and is still just crazy on the dance floor. I mean, that's just us, her especially. <laughs> but it'll be, it'll be a really fun and in loving relationship throughout. So let's spend a little time together. Yeah, I'm going home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at it. We're leaving. Oh.